Hey everyone, I am back with another video after a long hiatus. Really sorry about that. But with a pandemic and a new job and a new house, I've been pretty busy. I've had no shortage of projects to take up all of my time. Regardless, I wanted to put out a video update on my mods and tell you a little bit of what's going on and show you some of my latest mods features. In a previous video, I did say that I was no longer going to build these, but uh, with a lot of requests for them, I decided to just keep going at it. So I still do both sell the adapters and the mods, if you want either or. Update on the shipping. The adapters themselves are in stock. Um, give me a couple of days to get them out to you. Um, but I also have enough material in case I need to print some more at any time. I bought enough material due to a lot of the shortages that have been going on in Amazon lately. With the mods themselves, that's a different story. I do need to source all the items as they're ordered because uh, lately I haven't been getting too many orders for them, so I don't stock a lot of this stuff. Uh, but um, yeah, there's going to be some lead time there to get the cables, uh, some of the hardware, the lasers. I think those tend to run out here and there on Amazon. And on top of that, the U.S. Post Office, which is what I used to deliver these to you all, that's been running a little bit slow. So uh, bear with me on the shipping times out to you as well. So what you have in front of you on the left is the Polaroid 600 SE mount version of the mod. And on the right you have the uh, Mamiya Press version, um, but in full uh, ready to rock mode. So let me uh, get the Polaroid one here out of the way and I will show you some of the features on my own personal camera. Um, so this is the setup that I'm currently running right now with the uh, Sears flash up top and over here on the side I've got the uh, laser rangefinder, uh, Luxjet one from Amazon and then the uh, Reveni light meter uh, on top of their bracket that they sell um, as an add-on. Um, sometimes I switch these back and forth depending on how I'm feeling, but I like the laser right here um, because it feels like it's much more centered. Um, it, it, you could do that on the top still, but um, this is normally my preferred way of shooting it for the most part. Now let me get some of this stuff off of here so I can better show you some of the features and some of the things that I have going on in this build. So included in the mod um, naturally is the uh, Mamiya press mount and you've already seen the cold shoes. It's a top and side cold shoe um, that's included with the camera. Let's go back here and take a look at the integrated uh, shutter release cable. Um, comes in through the back, down through the grip and then out the side there and then into the lens. And uh, works just like a cable release should. For those of you interested in long exposure photography, uh, it does lock in place like so. If you want to release it, um, press the disc back in and it is released. Uh, if you're familiar with this to cut up the cable, you should have no problem with it. But yeah, once you put it back in there, it goes back to normal. Over on the side here is the on off switch for the motor. Flick it that way, you get a red LED confirmation that the motor is active. And with a single press ejection, hit that and your exposed frame comes out. Let's hit it again. And uh, obviously a previously exposed frame. Um, let me try to bring this up to the camera so you can see it. Um, it should focus. Yeah. Yeah, you can see some of the sharpness of this particular lens. Uh, this lens is a weird one. I have the uh, front element off of the older 100 millimeter on there. Um, it is slightly softer, but probably on par with the 90 millimeter in terms of sharpness, um, which maybe just needs a little bit more dialing in. Um, if you order the camera from me, you get this Luxjet uh, laser rangefinder included. Um, it is packaged and sealed brand new from um, Amazon. Um, I also include a bracket here that I make for it. Um, you could use it with this camera, use it on another camera, that's up to you, uh, but it's a cool little tool to have. 
And this here is just about everything that you get in the package. Um, also some instructions and a rangefinder card if you um, don't like using a laser or in certain bright situations the laser doesn't pick up. Um, I also include two test shots um, right from your camera so you can see what it produced and also um, since I had to shoot them anyway to test your camera I might as well give them to you. Um, usually it's an infinity test and a close focus test. Uh, speaking of testing, one thing I realized with the white cameras um, is that um, somewhere closer to the barrel, uh, the front of the barrel, um, the material is too thin compared to the black camera, so light does come through. Uh, so if you are using the Sugru sealing method, then you're going to want to use an extra pack uh, right back in there. Um, I'll try to post pictures in a uh, follow-up blog um, in a few couple of days so you can see what I'm talking about. But it's no big deal. Once you take care of it, there shouldn't be any other problems. Um, let me show you another shot um, since I've got this one out here so you could see this a little bit better. Um, I really love this, how this shot came out. Um, this is a cross in my backyard that a previous, the previous homeowner left. You could see sort of what the infinity looks like back there. Um, but yeah, really good quality off of this setup. This has been the Mark IV version of this mod. I have other versions available uh, with less features depending on your budget. So check those out if this one is not quite in your price range. Um, if you want to see sample images, the best place is Instagram, hashtag MPWide300. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Anyway, thanks for watching, and especially thanks to those who have already purchased a mod from me or an adapter. That really does mean a lot to me. Um, so thank you all, uh, and until next time.